are we all doing everyone? I hope you are keeping well out there. So the unsettled weather over the last few days is really upsetting the old uh, radio. Uh, with lightning crashes from long wave all the way up to the top of the HF. So it's kind of spoiling the radio. As you can see here I've got this BS35 which came all the way from Tipperary. And this is one of my own. And it's just a proof point that there's nothing wrong with this one. Because we can hear the lightning crash on this one too. Now this one isn't a wonderful example. But notwithstanding the electric fence, you can hear the crashes every couple of seconds. Uh, with the lightning. All over Europe. And um, there's a lot of lightning just as we speak down around uh, Cork and Kerry and the south of the country. So those crashes are coming in every couple of seconds. There was really bad lightning here last night at about uh, half two in the morning. Uh, it woke me up with the flashing in the house. Um, it's going to kill. I haven't seen lightning and thunder like this in a long time. It was, uh, it's going to spoil on the old radio. So is that bloody electric fence, but I'm immune to that at this stage. Um, Worst on medium wave here, I need to change the volume pot on this radio too, but that's a job for another day. Get main forward. Alex Allenson, as the Treasury Minister said, that there will be a statement. It's not too bad we are tuned in on a strong station because the AGC lowers the game. Well. They're, they're, they're working on something. But if you're trying to listen to something a bit weaker, you can hear. Desperate, isn't it? Uh, there's an interesting um, after a female website if you want it to track light and live. Which I'll show you. Clothing, and it's a real time lightning map. And it actually shows lighten, lightning in real time. Now, the ones. The. Red circles are lightning strikes in the last minute. So these are not pockets that we would recognise today, but what they are is essentially these flat bags, I suppose. You might have two of them. Mm. They're attached it's going to work on really well. Let's try a bit of light. Now these are light and focus. There we go. So as you can see, mm. Mm. So you can as you can see, there's a lot of lightning around at the minute, down around the south of Wales. Southwest of England, the east of England, and uh, all around um, the Midlands and Southern Ireland, and quite a bit out towards the, bit out towards the Atlantic as well. So you can hear the cracking away there in the background. So it does spoil the old radio reception. Mm -hmm. I'd also say to people with um, long wired radios, you would just be a bit careful if the thunder comes to near you. Especially with an, anything um, a bit more modern, with maybe uh, FETs in the front end, like uh, my R600 or that. That's nowhere near an aerial at the minute, I can tell you. Because the lightning doesn't have to hit the aerial direct. Um, it could land half a mile away, but the induced current in the, in the aerial is enough to knock it out. We've seen loads of televisions with the tuners blowing out of them over the years. Um, and that's how it happened. It doesn't have to be a direct strike. Obviously this valve stuff is a bit stronger. Which uh, wouldn't want the lightning to come straight down the wire either. So that's it. Quick one on the, the lightning and the conditions around Europe at the minute. And I'll catch you again in the next one. Mind yourselves out there. Now get struck by lightning. Good luck.